In addition to providing a wonderful resource for more science, 10,000 acres of forests and riversides and lake shores, even more than that really when we count the state forests nearby, the, the little Travis Conservancy lands, and even private landowners who allow us, in fact encourage us to do research on their property, we have a wonderful resource to do field environmental science, ecology, atmospheric science, hydrobiology, uh, evolution, research. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic resource. When I look at the classes that I've had over the last quite a few years, um, and look at what's become of the students in them, the fraction of students in my classes who have become research biologists, or at least who have stayed in the, active in the general field, is much higher. In fact, the absolute number is, of students is much higher than it is for anything that I teach in Ann Arbor, even though I'm dealing with probably ten times the number of students in Ann Arbor. So you just are able to be a much better teacher, actually engage the students, get their hands and their feet dirty see what field biology is like. I knew that scientists did things like a lot. They, they focused on science a lot. But I kind of, before I came up here, I did science from 9 to 5 and not on the weekends and, you know, very, very business-like. And it turns out science isn't a business and it's mostly everyone's passion. And you could be up at any time of the night and there would be at least one of the 200 people working like crazy because they were just unbelievably amazed and there's discoveries being made every day here. There's discoveries being made here every day, which is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. The um, biological station has always been riding the wave of current research and training methodologies, forest ecology, organismal biology, evolution, uh, the impacts of anthropogenic forces on natural systems, whether it be acid rain or global climate change or invasive species. So by nature of who we are and what we do, we will always see the future in our pursuit of the truth while embracing and respecting the past. It is what scientists do.